Spirit of Amelia Island was a, a special one for our company because there were so many storylines rolled into a single event. It's always a pleasure working with customers like Jazz who really truly appreciate the authenticity and detail of our restoration work. Seeing their reaction for the first time when we returned his 908 to the original livery. That is and sick. the smiles on their face and how joyful his whole family was, those really made everything worthwhile. You know, uh, this class, just walking up and down this class here, is uh, an, an absolute lesson in Porsche history. It's just uh, amazing to see. And it feels like such a, such a privilege to be here, even amongst the, uh, these other cars. It's just phenomenal. Um, one of the most rewarding things about Amelia and really any car show in general, getting to see all of those car people, the, the friends you make along the way, as well as all the industry leaders, getting to spend time with them and getting to show them all the hard work that you've put in you know, over the, the past six months, the past year, past two years sometimes. Uh, that's that's really cool. First impressions of the car when I first saw it was, uh, I was kind of blown away at the attention to detail. Uh, the car. I've been looking at these cars for a long time and this car was above and beyond anything else that I had really looked at very closely. We're in a pretty strong class today. We have 13 cars. The Porsche Corporate Award means that uh, best Porsche on the field and there's some really strong competition today. There's 917s, there were other prototype cars, GT cars, other 356s that were very strong. So for us as a restoration shop that means a lot to have be considered the best Porsche on the field at Amelia. So it's quite an honor. It was very rewarding to be able to go to my first event and see customers take the delivery of their vehicles. Seeing them for the first time, let alone uh, completed, but back to their original form. Uh, some of the cars when we received them were not any to where what they looked like with the customers saw them at the, on the field. Being able to put all the hours to see the car come out like it did and see the reactions, it was very rewarding. It's been Together. such an honor in the shop to do this project because uh, when we were presented and when we met, yeah. and I flew to Ohio to look at the car with you, yep. I was so fascinated that your father ordered this car in 58 yep. while stationed in Libya yep. with black paint, white walls, and the super engine, which all those three things in combination make it a very special 356. And, and it's come to life now. I saw it for the first time yesterday. Yeah. And it's like, this is this is how my dad took delivery of it yeah. uh, many years ago in New York City from uh, Max Hoffman. The research on some of the early cars is crucial to say the least. It's, there's a lot that changes very rapidly as the production numbers went up. So the first literal couple cars might be different than chassis number 10. And finding those minute details are pretty intensive and a lot of reading and research and sifting through pictures. Uh, but it's those details that really make the difference in the projects. Because it was an early production model, Porsche made a lot of changes in the car to subsequent speedsters. So we couldn't really rely on standard knowledge. We had to dig deeper into the first couple cars and looking at the techniques of how Porsche went about creating the speedster. Working on these Porsches and saving the construction details, as in like factory flaws in the paint, spot welds, hammer marks, using the factory primers, and reproducing the colors that these cars would have been is a lot different and a lot harder. The foundation of that project has to be nice so that when you do get to the color, you know, everything is perfect. You know, you can, you can have a black car and sand and buff it to death and make it beautiful, but if you didn't do your body work right and didn't do your homework, then it's not gonna turn out like you want it to. It 
It was a great experience. It was the first time seeing their final product that we accomplished. And it was a great opportunity to actually see how the customers would approach their cars and see the final things that we actually did for them. It's a privilege to actually work on this kind of industry and touch so many rare vehicles that they actually come to us. All in all, it was a huge accomplishment for our, our team. We brought home five awards out of the seven cars we showed on display. Everything went flawlessly. It was, it was a huge task to bring 14 cars out there and just the effort to get them there in the first place, then unload them, get them all ready, and bring them out to each corner of all the events going on at Amelia to walk away with our, our clients having great memories from the event. I think it was a win through and through in our book. On top of that, we got to share some amazing cars with, with everyone that came in attendance.